there! So, today I'm going to try and make the smeltery from Tinker's Construct. I'm just currently smelting up some grout, which is slowly, slowly but surely, giving me some seared bricks. I'm going to need a lot of these, if you don't know. Let's, thank you. That. And eight. So I'll start off with eight. That can at least get me one of these. Yes, a little smeltery controller. And I get a lovely book to read. Hey, achievement get. So this just basically tells me what a smeltery does and how to build it and all that kind of guff. I won't really read through it. It's the basic of all, all the things you'll be needing to start yourself off. So you got smeltery controller, a, 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 a thing for the lava, the said bricks, lots of pieces, a drain obviously you'll be needing. And then it goes on to some metals and all the metals you'll be needing and how to make them, all the different bricks. I'm not too sure what this is supposed to be for. I might look into what you can do that do with that even so there you go uh, I got some more bricks so I'll, I'll make a couple of these and I'll be right back so I've just leveled out of space as you can see and I think I'm going to put it here because probably the best place for it so let me just Dig a little hole here, 3b3 for the base, lovely, and then I want them, and do 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 da da, so that's my base and then I need to build the wall around it, like so, I think I might make that my, no I'll make that one that one. I'm going to put my controller here, and I'm going to put that there, and then I want some more bricks and some glass, because i got some glass to put along here, probably going to need some more, and some bricks along here, and uh, I miscounted, awesome, okay, uh, well, I'm going to put my smelter drain up here anyway. Uh, no, I think I'll put it on this side. No, not where I wanted to put it. Where's my... Oh, that's my pick. I have to do. I must put it away. <laughs> that's not doing nothing. Can this... Perhaps I'm just gonna lose this. Be right back. Some of them, some here. And I'll make some more of these. And make some more of that. Bomb. We will do. I need to smell that smoke grout. Right, I'm back. I've just got a lovely pick and I've got a couple more pieces of this, so I'll do that and put that down there. La da! And if I remove this one. Look, it's running. Oh, good. And get one of these. Ooh. OK. 
camera phone and put this down there. Ah, almost done. So now I just need some more of it and a few more bricks and I'm sorted. Uh, so I'll be right back. And I'm done. So now, before I can actually make any good tools with this little guy, I am going to have to upgrade one of my tables. Because my table at the moment, uh, if I just find the... Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Probably a quicker way to do this. Sad bricks. Use. There. I need a tool forge. I can make a flat version. How exciting. I don't know why you'd want to make a flat version. But I need to make one of those. Uh, well, that's quite simple if you really wanted to do that. Oh, look, I can give it coloured legs and everything. Diamond, emerald, lapis, a bit of copper. Is that copper? Mm, Obsidian. All sorts of different choices of leg colours. You know, so, so that you can have it matching the rest of your lovely furniture design if you really, 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 really wanted to. Block of steel. Alamite. And I can even make some seared brick slabs with this stuff. How awesome. So I'm going to quickly make one of these tool forges. Fairly simple. So I'll quickly do that. I'll do that off screen because I don't think you want to see me making all these again. So I'll be right back. And the seared bricks gives me tool forge. So I can now put that there where it used to be. And I can now make all the better tools like the hammer. Oh, gosh, yes. These, these are beautiful, beautiful devices. So I'm going to quickly be making one of these. Let's see. So I want... Tool, 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 tool. No, 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 no. One of them. One of them. Gonna have to make some more patterns. That's fine. I'll start with that. So it's a tough rod. I don't need that. They can go in here. And one of them and one of them. Notice that this makes with eight. Can I do Yes, I can. There we go. One of them. And one of them. Magical. Cool. So now I need to make some uh, casts of these. So I'll quickly make that up and I'll start again when I've got to the point. So to make a cast, I'm going to need some aluminium which I'm going to put in here like so. And I also need some copper, which is roughly four to one. I think it was. I could be slightly wrong with that one. And uh, what I also need is a bucket, I reckon. Because I need to go get some lava and my wooden bucket will not hold lava. I can probably make one of them actually. I'm going to make one of these tanks. Tanks have become awfully cheap lately. All you need is a bit of glass, which you can do in this. Do 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 do. Gobble gobble. Come on. And, uh, so I need a glass and a piece of copper and I can make a tank and tanks hold up to eight buckets I think it is which is very handy 
I can make my bucket slightly bigger. For example, I can get hardened ones or resonant ones, making it, um, them bigger tanks, holding more, which I might do in the future, but for the moment I don't need it. So I'm going to go find some lava. Uh, sorry about so many be right backs, but um, be right back. <laughs> okay, so I've now got my tank of lava. So I need to connect that onto here, which isn't going to work, is it? Uh, oh dear. Now I can. No, see, let's just for shift click it. I can pick it up without losing the lava. Now you need a hammer. One of these lovely hammers that I got in my hand, which uh, can turn chests around. Whoopsie doodle. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, just update that. That's from a uh, update bug. That's gonna mess up my fluid duct. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, you just need a, uh, a hammer, a crescent hammer, and you can pick them up by shift clicking, or you can like change it from receive to give. Like, oops, like, so, so that's now in empty mode, give mode, whatever you want to call it, whereas the blue mark is uh, under receive mode, so you can then fill it with things, and as you can see, it's starting to smelt things, yay! So I can now remove that, because I'm guessing the tank is full, and I'll remove that. If you try and break it with an axe or anything like that, it just loses the liquid. So uh, anyway, I'll give that a minute to uh, smelt down the bits of copper and aluminium. And I should get... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you want to melt. Melt, goddammit. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Where's my... There we go. So that has given me some, uh, what's it called, aluminium brass, but as you can see I've still got a lot of aluminium, 12 ingots, uh, I miscounted slightly with my uh, ores to ingots ratio because an ore has two ingots in it, but anyway, so uh, that's one, and then I want a hammer one. Hammer. That's two. And I want a tough rod. So that's three. Ta da ta da. Wonderful. I can all go there. Nice and tidy. So now I need to get my stuff to fill these. I'm not too sure what I'm going to make it with yet. Uh, let's have a look. I need to do something with those two as well. Um, I've got a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what I'm going to make. So I've just quickly made two tanks, a small one and a slightly large one. I'll just get rid of this table. So if I put that down first and get that out, which is aluminium brass into my smaller one. Do, 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 do. There we go. So if I just click with the hammer of that thing, there we go. And then I can then pour out the 12 buckets into my slightly larger one. A slightly larger one, by the way, is nice and quick and easy. You just make some invar using, uh, I can't remember what it was now, a couple of mixed powders and things. I'm sure you can look up the recipe yourself. And yes, you, you then just put it around with a bit more glass and voila. So next I want, let's have a look, my materials and you book. This tells you everything about the different weapons and items you can build. And just near the back, it then tells you everything about the different materials you can use to make them. So like bones, obsidians, some ardites, blue slimes if you really want to, some paper, manoleans, copper, you know, 
bronze, and even some pig iron apparently. That's that's a nice new item. I love how it's shaped like a pig. Not that that's weird or anything. So I am going to go with. Hmm. I'll probably make an iron one. Maybe. Okay, so I decided to go for. Ba 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 ba. If you can't tell by the colour, it's bronze! I thought it would make for an interesting hammer. If I get. Oh, thank you. Oh. Stupid thing, come on! Make me hungry! Ding. So yes, I've gone for two bronze plates. And I'm going to make a third one, because. You know, I've made too much bronze. And then I'm going to add a load of iron. Iron! Du -du 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 -du. Just get rid of that. Put the table back. Couldn't be bothered with buckets or anything like that. So now I'm going to make the head out of iron. Hello, Mr. Renderman. And I'm probably going to need. A little bit more iron to make my tough tool rod. And it's becoming night time. Yay! Enderman's gone. Put them in there as well. Let's wait for this to smelt down. And I put some torches round whilst I'm waiting. Just so I don't get attacked by any zombies nearby. Doopy doo. Hello, Mr. Enderman. Walking off with my piece of grass. Let's see. Gosh, so many potential areas. Oh, God. Uh, put one there. Put one there. Nope, that didn't. Nope. Come, <laughs> oh, thank you. And let's do it over here. Don't buy me whilst I place a load of torches. Do, 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 do. I don't really like being eaten alive by zombies and spiders and put that on the wall. That looked pretty, I wanted. That one there. That one there. And there. Out, out, out. Slightly better. Okay, uh, if I just get these corners here, and there, and there, and there, and there, could be like this for hours really if I bothered to do all the areas sometimes, and there, and about the touches, I guess that'll have to do, there's a lovely spot right here, have we got, yes, there we go. Okay. A my stop now. So uh, let's get my hammer. There's no zone over there. Get that torches. Ugh, I'll do it a bit later. So I should have enough. Three. So that's if I get this and put that in there. I can do one of them. And that's that one. So now I can go back inside where it's nice and safe. Look, spiders over there. Hmm. So I then need one of those. So hammer in the first, and then tool rod, I think. Yeah, tool rod, and then plates. But it's going to give them separately. So I have to do it like that. And there you go, a hammer. And I'm going to cool this. The bronze, bronze might. And that was such an exciting video, I'm sure. I hope everybody enjoyed watching it. Maybe you have learned something from it. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yes. So I'm going to end now, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.